Alright, yo, what's good everyone? Nick Smith is back. Welcome to another episode of the Rebuilding Series. Today, we've already done the 76ers, we've already done the Bucks, so the next team in line is the Chicago Bulls. You're telling me i got to rebuild the Bulls? Like, rebuild the Bulls? In real life, this team actually kind of does need rebuilding. But in 2K, they got D-Rose, Jimmy Butler, Pau Gasol. Alright, I don't know if this team really needs rebuilding. But, I don't want to call it retooling. Because that's what CSB calls it. And I I'm not really trying to copy CSB. So, give me an idea on what I should call a rebuild. Like, what, what, should, I call a, what should I call a retool, um, but not the word retool because like the Cleveland Cavaliers obviously I'm not going to rebuild the Cleveland Cavaliers but I, I'm going to retool them but I don't want to call it retool I want to call it something else so yeah comment down below instead of retool what should I call it but uh yeah we're going to be retooling the Bulls but I don't want to call it retool yeah let's do this <laughs> let's just rebuild the Chicago Bulls this team, you know, I, I hope that we can win a championship pretty soon with this team. It took a while with the 76ers. It took a while with the Bucks. I just want a good team that can just win, and we can we can end this, man. We can end this. But uh, what we're going to do, embrace the pace right here. And we're going to see the Bulls line up right now. See who they have. And they got an 88 overall Jimmy Butler. Absolute beast in this game. Pau Gasol, D-Rose. That's pretty much their big three. But, I want to see, you know what, I reckon Joe, no, Joe Kim, is, yeah, to be honest, Joe Kim is becoming old, alright, Joe Kim is kind of just like, eh, not really that good anymore, I never really liked Joe Kim, to be honest, as a Heat fan, I kind of despise Joe Kim though, but, I know that some of you Bulls fans are probably going to hate me for that, but, you know, I, I'm just not a huge Joe Kim Noah fan, and he just hasn't really been producing in real life, to an extent that he should be, on this team. And so I want to see what he's worth on the block. Um, especially if Pau Gasol is playing center in this for some reason. I don't know why. But let's see what Joe Kim Noah's worth along with Taj Gibson. I just want to see what these guys are worth. Probably nothing to be honest. But we'll take a look and see what they're worth. So I, I couldn't really find too much for Joe Kim Noah. But I did come across this trade. And it would send Chandler Parsons from the Dallas Mavericks to the Bulls for Joe Kim Noah. And then we, we would lose, you know, Aaron Brooks, but we would gain Devin Harris. So, I think I might take this trade. Now, the thing is, Chandler Parsons, he's an 80 overall, small forward, which is kind of what the Bulls need. Like, they do need a, a, a small forward. Like, they got, they do have Rose and Butler, but now this team, I think it looks a whole time better. We've got Rose, Butler, Parsons, Gibson, and Pau Gasol. To be honest... This team might just be able to win a championship with all these guys together. To be honest, I'm kind of happy with the Chandler Parsons trade. I just want to see how well we do going into the season. So we're going to simulate halfway into the season, see how well we do. And if we're not doing well, maybe some trades need to be made. But I'll just see how well we do. And uh, yeah, I'll just uh, simulate to the halfway point of the season. All right. So at the midway point of the season, we're not doing too well. We're 26 and 26. Somebody must be injured. Of course it's D-Rose. Bruh. And of course it's Pau Gasol. Bruh. Pau Gasol is goddamn out for the whole season. Bruh. So at the halfway point of this season, we're not doing too well. We're 26 and 26. We're 7th in the conference. I mean, I don't know what it is, but this Bulls team, they're, they're just doing terrible right now. I don't know. They're behind Charlotte. They're behind Toronto. They're behind Indiana, Milwaukee. Miami and Cleveland. I, I don't know what it is. So the Memphis Grizzlies came up to me and were like, you know what? We'll give you Mike Conley and Zach Randolph and we'll you know we'll take Chandler Parsons and Taj Gibson. I was like, you know what? Let me make this quick trade right now. Both of these guys are three stars. We do give up a pretty good pick, I think. But it's 2017 anyway. I think we're good now. Kelly O'Linick and Evan Turner. Kelly O'Linick and Evan Turner. I'll take this trade. I'll take this trade from the Boston Celtics. Changes need to be made. So we're going to simulate to the end of the season. Remembering that we are 7th in the conference right now. We're 7th in the conference. Let's see what position we finish off with. 
So we finished on a record of 41 and 41, which isn't that good, and we are the Chicago Bulls, so some, somehow I managed to make this team worse. I don't even know how. Kyle Anthony Towns with Rookie of the Year, Brandon Knight wins Sixth Man, DeAndre wins Defensive Player of the Year, and he plays for the Thunder this time. Giannis goes and wins the Most Improved, and uh, I mean, god damn, this Thunder team is stacked. Westbrook, Durant, and DeAndre, whew, that team is nice, I'm not even going to lie. Harden, Paul George, did we get anyone? We got Pau Gasol, we didn't even get, okay, we got Jimmy Butler in the old defensive first team, and that's about it, I think, yeah, that's about it. So, uh, we, we are the 8th seed, not looking to win this series, I, we take, we take game 1, okay, I'll take that, what the hell, we take game 2? Oh, okay, 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 ah, man, the Cavs, we, I thought we had a chance with these guys, but I think, the Cavs are just so good in this game, surely that, I might even have to hop in this, oh, okay, we're gonna lose that, yeah, we lost that, we're down 3-2, Simulate with Simcast. I have a feeling we're going to be eliminated right here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we are. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we are. We got eliminated. First round. Damn, man. Team player options. I'll accept Olenek, McDermott. And I'm not I'm not going to accept Best out. And I'm not going to accept Snell either. Um, Alright. Qualifying offers. No one there. My free agents. Pagasol. We will offer you a contract. I get. We can't offer. Can't even offer him a contract. Uh, so we'll offer him what we can offer him, which is this much. Hopefully he accepts with us. Um, and yeah, that's all good. Let's go to free agency. Oh, he does. Pagasol accepts with us. That is awesome. But that pretty much means that I mean we we can't like we can't really make any moves in free agency either, like, we got no, we got no, um, what's it called, we got no, like, cat space to do anything, so, and we can, we can try and get Den back, yeah, we literally have no cat space to do anything, none at all, like, literally no cat space, yeah, I can't offer anyone anything, so, that's what happens when you pay D-Rose Max, along with a whole bunch of guys, like, I don't know, man, like, we pay Butler quite a bit, we pay... You know, pretty much this team needs to needs to uh, survive on trades because we're not going to be able to get anyone in free agency. So, yeah, I guess um, guess we're looking to make moves via trades. So Butler's a 90 overall. Conley, Powell, Randolph, Rose. It's a weird it's a weird looking lineup right now. Changes might need to be made. We're going to see he's worth some value on this team and try and make some trades because yeah, we didn't end up doing well. You know what? I'm going to take Paul Zingod. Give me Chris Starts Paul Zingas, okay? This, this team is going to have a little bit of a rebuild right now. We're going to run... Okay, we got, we, got, we got Paul Zingas, Randolph, and Powell. That's not happening. So let's see, what, what can, let's see what we can get for Zach Randolph and a first and a second round pick. I will gladly take Rudy Gay and Willie Colley-Stein right now. So thank you for coming to the Chicago Bulls. And now this team, I think, is looking a little bit better. D Rose, Jimmy Butler, Rudy Gay, Christos Porzingis, and Pau Gasol with Olinic, Collistein. Okay, okay, maybe or maybe Olinic has to go. Um, for what what position? Let's take a look. I think we might need to get a shooting guard. So Olinic, if, if a good shooting guard comes up for uh, Olinic, then we'll make a trade. If not, we'll just go into the season. All right. So no crazy shooting guard came out of it. But I looked at this trade right here and I was like, I gotta take it. Rudy Gobert and Trey Burke? Are you serious? You're giving me Rudy Gobert? I'm gonna take that real quick right now. We get Rudy Gobert on this team. And I think we are good. I think we are good. Coaching right now. We got Rose, Butler, Gay, Paul Zingas, Gasol. We got we still we still have that center love right here with Collie Stein and Gobert. One of them has to go for a shooting guard. So let's just trade away, let's trade away Collie Stein. And I'm going to take Gary Harris from the Denver Nuggets. So now, I think this team, I know I said this last year, but I honestly think this team can win a championship. Butler, Gasol, Gay, Porzingis, Gobert, Rose, Ishmith, Trey Burke, Nikola Miritich, Gary Harris. I, I think this team can win it all. Honestly, I, I, think this win, I think this team can win it all. 
So we're going to simulate to the halfway point of the season. Our team chemistry doesn't look good, but it will improve throughout the season. And I think we have a slight chance of making it at least to the third seed in our conference. So at the halfway point of this season, we are 35 and 19, which actually gives us the best record in our conference, which is obviously the East, which is pretty good. I take that, man. I take that. 35 and 19 after, you know, a shocking, you know, first season. But the team is looking good right now, I think. I think Butler, he's improved. Paul Zingot, I think he's improved a little bit. He's at an 82 overall right now. And to be first in our conference, I think makes a huge difference. Now, the Thunder, what the hell? The Thunder just traded De DeAndre to the Lakers for Julius Randle. I mean, that's kind of weird right there. I, I want to see that real quick. I just want to see, um, actually, what was that? Hassan went to the Magic, even though they had Vucevic. Um, but the, where are they right here? The Thunder, they got, well, I don't know why they, 2K, they, they keep messing up. I mean, they just keep messing up. I guess they could run Durant at, yeah, I, I don't know what they're doing right now. <laughs> I don't know what, they got Ibaka, Randall, and yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, we 35-19, best record in our conference, so I reckon we should just simulate to the end of the season and hope that we can continue this. We're 49, 50 wins, 51 and 31 to end the season. Steph Curry wins the MVP. Ben Simmons from Australia, rookie of the year. Six man goes to Nikola Vucevic. Anthony Davids wins defensive player of the year. D'Angelo Russell was most improved. I guess that's kind of probably what the Lakers are hoping once Kobe retires. Coach of the year goes to Steve Kerr. And did we get anyone? D'Angelo makes the All-NBA second team in his like second year. That's pretty crazy right there. Um, wow, we didn't get anyone for anything? And we're the f we are the first in our conference and we didn't get anything. All right, whatever. Let's, let, let's not get... Let's not lose early, all right? Let's not lose early. Don't let Charlotte beat us right now. We're 2-1, two, 3-1, two, one, one, and 3-2. Three, 3-3. Two, three, three. Whew, that was close. We just made it out of there. The Magic. This team is actually pretty good. I don't know how they run Whiteside and Vucevic together, but this team is actually really good. Like, just look at the depth. They got Whiteside, Vucevic, Oladipo, Alfred Payton, Gordon, Jennings, Fournier, Jalen Brown, who, fourth overall pick, Myra Hizonia, who was the fifth overall pick. This team is, is pretty good town. I'm not even going to lie. I don't want to lose this, though. We win game one, win game two, win game three, and we sweep them. All right, I, I'll take... I mean, how do we almost lose to the Hornets, but we sweep the Orlando Magic? 2K... I mean, it's just a weird company right now, but uh, yeah. Now we're up against the third seed, Detroit Pistons. Who do they have? Surely they don't have anyone crazy, right? The Pistons have Drummond, Jackson, and Middleton, which, I mean, I think we should probably beat them, but in saying that, this is a big three that's actually kind of decent. And Middleton, he returns back to, uh, back to uh, Detroit, because he originally played there, yeah, in a... First season, but anyway, let's get this win right now. Simulate game, we win game, we win game one. Simulate game, we lose game two, we lose game three, we win game four, and game five, and we advance to the NBA Finals, Golden State versus Chicago. All right, let's take a look at the Golden State Warriors, because this team, this team is a pretty good team. They got Steph Curry, they got Jamon Green, they got Klay Thompson, <sighs> they got one injury, and it's goddamn Ian Clark. Why couldn't there be some scrub? <laughs> why, I mean, why couldn't it be, like, some Steph Curry right now? But our team, do we have any injuries? We don't have any injuries, which is kind of lucky right now, but... Oh, man. Let's simulate with Simcast right now. Simulate game one. I, I man, The thing is, like... I, like, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to beat the Warriors. Like, actually, like, I just don't think I'm ever going to be able to beat the Warriors. Like, it's just going to be way too hard. This team is just so stacked. Every time I make it to the NBA Finals, I'm just going to lose. Like, it's just going to, it, it's going to happen every single time. But, uh, at least don't get swept. Oh, my. We're probably going to get swept, aren't we? 
We're actually doing okay in this game at least. I might help. Okay, okay, it's over. These guys just go on mat and Porzingis is now injured. But these guys just got Steph Curry dropped 43 points. These guys just go on massive runs. And I can't help it. Like my team is just not good enough to uh to compete against the Warriors. I mean, is any team good enough to compete against the Warriors? These guys win back-to-back -back championships, so yeah. Alright, another year, another free agency. We, we finished 51 and 31, first in our conference, so I, I'll take that, but this year, it's gonna be like, now or never. We gotta win the championship this year. But like, I wanna also keep the main guys intact. Like, I wanna keep Rose, I wanna keep Butler, I wanna keep Powell, but, I mean, we're just not doing all that well. And I, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely gonna accept Paul Zingas, I'll accept Portis, and I'll accept Gary Harris. And we also accepted Rudy Gay, so that's kind of good. Well, he accepted. Yeah. Qualifying offers, I'll accept Rudy Gobert, and I'll accept Trey Burke as well. Actually, I won't accept Trey Burke. I'll accept Rudy Gobert, though. My free agents, D. Rose is... Yo! D. Rose is expired. That helps us a lot. Because now we might have some... Yo, we might have some cap space to sign someone. I'll also accept... I'll, I'll accept Miritich. Well, I'll offer him a contract. We... Okay, we can get Rose and Miritich. Can we get somebody else to help us? CJ McCallum? Oh, he wants a... Man... Who do we have on our team that... Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Um, I wish you could make trades right now, but... Unfortunately, you can't. I won't be able to accept McCallum. But maybe I maybe I do sign Victor Oladipo to help us out. We'll accept. We'll we'll, we'll sign. We'll, we'll try and get Victor. We'll, we'll offer Noel a contract as well. And yeah, I guess we'll just see what they say. Um, and yeah, hopefully one of them signs with us. We can accept Noel. You know what? Why not? Why not? Why not accept Noel? I'll take him on the team, and luckily I did because Victor Oladipo uh, signs with the Atlanta Hawks. Gobert, I hope I, I hope Gobert, you know, signs with us, and we can we can match the contract, which we will do, um, just because why not? So I think we're good to go into player progression and advance to the next season. So since we signed Rudy Gobert to a massive contract, we might look to trade him, I guess. <laughs> Just because I kind of want a better point guard since D-Rose is just never going to improve for some reason. This guy D-Rose, I don't know what, he just doesn't improve. Like, it's it's annoying that he doesn't improve. Um, no team is offering me any point guards, which is annoying. Um, but I think that we have a lot of depth. Like, it's not necessarily our lowest players that have depth, but right here, all these guys have a, like, that's our depth right there. So what I'm thinking is maybe we trade away Rudy Gay and either Gobert or Noel, which will give us hopefully three players over 84. And that should hopefully win us a championship. And I think this might be the move. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, Hassan's pretty good, but Jalen Brown, he's a 76 overall. You're losing value. Trust me, Jalen Brown, he increases a lot. Trust me on this one. He does. So, it looks a bad trade now. But I promise you, getting Hassan Whiteside and Jalen Brown is going to help this team out a ton. 50 wins. Do we get 51? No. Nope. Okay, we get 51. We finished on a record with 52 wins. I'll take that right there. 52 on 30. Steph Curry wins the MVP once again. Harry Giles wins Rookie of the Year. Thad Young, my boy, Sixth Man of the Year. Playing for the Heat in this. <laughs> Anthony Davis wins Defense Player of the Year. Trey Berg, most... Bruh, we had Trey Burke, and then coach of the year to Steve Kerr. Did we get anyone? Man, why? What is it with? What is it with 2K not liking Jimmy Butler? Why can't he make it right now? So we finished. We actually finished second. We finished second. Are you serious right now? We finished second in our in our conference behind the Orlando Magic. All right, back here once again. NBA playoffs up against the Atlanta Hawks. We win game one, we lose game two, win game three, 
Lose game four. Lose game five. Don't tell me we're going to lose first round right now. Don't tell me we're going to lose first round. Thank you very much, Chicago. Whew, I was going to say. Butler, he played all right, but... Man, we can't be losing first round, all right? Simulate with Simcast right now. Don't lose this game right now. I think we're going to win it. We do win it. That's good. Now, we're up against the Bucks. So now we're up against the six-seeded Bucks. Come on, man. We, we can't lose to the six-seeded Bucks. Simulate. I just want to simulate. Just normal. We win game one. We win game two. And three. And we lose game four. Don't, don't let him come back. Phew. Okay, that's good. And the Minnesota Timbers and the Golden State Warriors are actually pretty close. I hope, I really hope the Timbers win. Yeah, I was wrong, of course. We're up against Philly. How, how, how does Philly make it right now? We win game one. And two. And three. Sweep them. We sweep them and advance to the NBA Finals to guess who? The Warriors. That, that's who we have to face up against. Do the Warriors have anyone injured? I really hope so. Oh! He, bro, he's a 95... Bro, he's a 92 overall, and he's injured right now. Iggy's out for the season, and Curry's out day-to-day, -day, so that means he's probably going to play and drop like 50 on us, right? Simulate game one. We lose game one. We win game two, though, and three... Oh, oh, please, please let us win. Oh, wait, wait. What are we? We're tied 2-2. Please with us. Man, if we win this game right here, if we win game five, that would be so good. Yeah, I might have to hop in this game if it's close, but we, we actually are winning right now. We actually are winning. Oh, my goodness. No. Yes. Woo. We win by two points. Paul Zingas, he played decent, but the boy Jimmy Butler, I mean, he didn't even play. I mean, he shot decently, but they, I mean, Steph Curry has seven turnovers. That's why they lost. Yo, we have two chances right here. Two chances to win it all. Please let us win this right here. I've been waiting and waiting, and it's about damn time we win a championship. Let's get this win right here. Please, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Yo, yo, don't let him, bruh, please do not let him come back right now. Do not let him come, you know, wh what do I got to do? What do I got to do? Do I got to go to, you know, like, uh, I don't even know, like, rotations and just get everyone max minutes? You know what? Pau Gasol is injured as well. Yo, th this means that the starters need to put in that work right now. Starters, it's up. Butler, you're, you're getting ton. Yo, Butler, my man Butler, you are getting tons of minutes right now 44 minutes Jimmy Butler that's what you're getting you better win this game for me right now continue, continue simulation oh my goodness yo we're gonna win I'm gonna jump in and we won the NBA championship it's about damn time now we didn't start off well I, I guys what I wanted to do with this series was keep Derrick Rose Jimmy Butler and Pau Gasol on this team. I wanted them to be a big three and win a championship. Obviously, as the years went on, Pau Gasol was, you know, a little bit older and couldn't do that all that much. D-Rose just didn't... I mean, he just... He, it's D-Rose. He's always getting injured, and I'm surprised he didn't get injured more in this series, actually, but I guess we got lucky. Um, but then, you know, like... Ah, we had to acquire talent like Chris Starts, Paul Zingas, and Jalen Brown, and turns out this team is a championship team. All right, let's see. Let's see what. Oh, Butler putting on the moves right now. Who is this white guy? Get this white guy off me. Step back. That's a terrible shot. Oh, no. It's poison God. Oh, that would have been sick. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Get back, get back. It's the Warriors. They could probably come back. They just shoot threes. Was that? Yo, that was... Man, that sounds like Pachulia. Could have been an all-star this year. That would have been so funny if he made it as an all-star. But you know what? It's all good. It's all good, people. We win the NBA championship. And, you know, we actually won this, I think, in two seasons, which, I mean, I'll take that. And, you know, just because I'm on Draymond Green, let's give him a little jab and take a deep three right there. But we've done it, people. We've done it. We won the NBA championship. Woo! Let's go. I'm happy with that. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and comment down below. How long did it take you to win a championship with the Chicago Bulls? But you have to keep the big three intact. You have to keep Rose, you have to keep Butler, and you have to keep Pau Gasol on this team. We've do, we done it. I'll take it. We win. You lose. Suck on it. Warriors, you always beat us. But uh, yeah, this is pretty cool right there. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. Smash the like button if you didn't. If you want to see the next, the next rebuild, then definitely hit up that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Big, big well